In this video, we will see a common mistake made by beginner React developers while learning React. To demonstrate this, I have created a basic React application using VJS. In the app component, I have used two components, header and home. And for each of these components, I have separate folders with their respective CSS files. As you can see, I have imported header.css and header.jsx file and home.css and home.jsx file. Now, let me give a class of title for the h1, and I have already created the title class in header.css file with color and text transform CSS properties. If you check now, you can see the main title is now blue with uppercase text. Now, let me give the same class in the home component. And if you check, you can see that text is also coming as blue. If you check the header.css file, the color for title class is maroon and in the home.css the color is blue for the same class. But on the UI both the headings are showing as blue. This is because if you check the HTML displayed, for every React application on local machine, the entire CSS is added in the head tag inside the style tag. As you can see here, so even if you create separate CSS files, all the CSS is finally loaded in the style tag. And as the color blue CSS is after color maroon, all the HTML elements with title class will be blue. So even if you're importing a particular CSS file and specific component, the CSS defined in that file can be used in other components without the need of importing that file. And as you can see, even though only the first title class has uppercase CSS specified, both the titles are shown in uppercase. This is because of CSS specificity. You can find the link for my article in the description if you want to learn more about CSS specificity. So even if you write some CSS and import that CSS file in the specific component, it does not mean that that CSS is specific to that component. So if the title CSS class is used by any other component, it will still work in that component. Now, if I take this subtitle class from this header.css file and I will use it in the home.jsx file. You can see, subtitle from home component is shown in red color. And if I give the same class in header component, that will also be shown in red color, as you can see here. So even though home.css does not have subtitle class, I'm still able to use it. This is because all the CSS file content is injected into the style tag when the application is loaded. Most of the beginner React developers don't understand this and because of that, they write CSS code which is difficult to maintain. So to define component-specific CSS without overriding other CSS classes, you need to use libraries like style components or CSS modules syntax. Style Component is very popular library used by React developers to create component-specific CSS by creating style components. As you can see here, there is also CSS module syntax which you can use to write component-specific CSS. I will include link of my article in the description of this video so you will understand how to use it. And that way, you will not override any of the CSS defined in another file. But if you don't want to use style components or CSS modules, there is one thing you can do. In every component, you can define a parent class that is specific to that component. Let's say header class for this header component. And while defining the CSS for that component, you add that class as parent for every CSS defined. So now with this change, these title and subtitle classes will only be applied if they are defined inside the header class. So only in this header component these CSS classes will be applicable. As you can see now, this subtitle is not read because we don't have subtitle class defined in home component CSS file. And this home title is shown in blue color but header title is in maroon color. You can see, in the header CSS, I'm using color maroon for title. And in home CSS, the title color is blue. So home title has a color of blue and header title has color of maroon. So this way you can define component specific CSS. Now, I can also add home class and home component for the parent element. 
and before every CSS in the imported CSS file, I can use that class. Now, I can also define subtitle class in this file with the color of let's say pink. If you check now you can see, home subtitle is pink now. So this way you can separate out component specific CSS. So in that case, you can use SCSS syntax or SAS syntax that allows nesting of CSS. To use SCSS syntax, you need to install SAS NPM package using NPM install SAS or yarn at SAS. To use the SCSS syntax, you need to rename the file to scss. And we also need to change the extension while importing the file. And now, instead of using .home every time, we can use scss nesting syntax. And I will move this title CSS inside it. Similarly, I will nest the subtitle inside header. So now, if the title and subtitle are inside the home class, then only these specified CSS will be applied. Oh, we forgot to save the file changes. As you can see now, we get the same result as we saw previously but you need to make sure to use a unique parent class for each component. So if you use home class in header component, you can see CSS from home.css is applied for content of header component also. So always give class for parent which is specific to that component to avoid class naming collision. So now, only header specific CSS will be applied here, and here home specific classes will be applied. So always remember that all the CSS files content will be added in the style tag in your local environment. If you want to learn how all the CSS is added in style tag, check out my webpack playlist linked in the description. That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.